you have learned about different types of roots stems and leaves of plants come let us learn about flowers in this lesson if you visit a garden you will find flowers of various sizes shapes and colors a flower has four basic whorls sepals petals stamens and pistils sepal is the outermost whorl of a flower which is usually green in color sepals may be free or united petal is second whorl of flower which is usually colored petals may be free or united third whorl of a flower is stamen stamen is made up of filament and anther fourth and innermost whorl of flower is pistil it is made up of stigma style and ovary there are ovules inside the ovary which are bead like structures flowers are unisexual when they have either stamen or pistil whereas bisexual flowers have both stamen and pistil in this module we will learn about the root system the part of the plant which lies under the soil is called root however roots can also be aerial or aerating there are three types of roots tap root fibrous root adventitious root the first root produced from a seed is called the radical when this root greatly enlarges to become the main root of the plant then it is called as a tap root many smaller branch roots emerge from the tap root plants having reticulated venation have tap roots some plants have a small thread or fiber like roots such roots are called fibrous roots plants having parallel venation have fibrous roots adventitious root or a lateral root is a root that arises from any plant other than the primary root radical or its branches roots anchor plants to the soil thus provide firmness to the plant when it rains the roots hold the soil in place so it is not washed away roots absorb water and minerals from the soil which get distributed throughout the plant some roots store food produced by leaves we eat some of these roots examples are carrot radish sweet potato turnip tapioca When you go places you see various types of plants some plants are small some very big some plants are so small that they appear like a green patch on the soil as we have discussed that there is wide variety of plants on the basis of height of stem type of stem and part of the stem where the branches appear plants are classified into five types herbs shrubs trees creepers and climbers in this module we will learn about herbs and shrubs herbs are those plants which are very short in height they have green tender stems they may not have many branches example sunflower poppy mustard wheat rice tomato brinjal etc shrubs are plants of medium height example hibiscus rose champa shrubs have green slightly thick and hard stem examples are 
lemon, orange, pomegranate etc. Usually shrubs branches at the base of the stem. Example hibiscus, champa. So we have learnt that shrubs are plants of medium height. Branching starts at the base of the stem. Stem is hard but not very thick. We have learnt about the different parts of a flower. Come, let us learn more about stamens in the lesson. Third whorl of flower is stamen. It is male part of flower. They are either attached to petals or are free. It is male reproductive part of a flower. Stamen is made up of narrow stalk or filament and anther. Filament is thread-like structure. Anthers are sac-like structure and are attached to the tip of the filament. Stamens are of different types on the basis of length of filament and position of anther and how anther is joined to filament. Pollen grains are carried to the stigma of the pistil by the process of pollination. There, the pollen germinates and gives rise to a pollen tube, which grows down through the pistil towards one of the ovules in its base. Come, let us learn about pistil in this lesson. Fourth and innermost whorl of flower is pistil. It is the female reproductive part of the flower. Pistil consists of a swollen base, the ovary, which contains the potential seeds or ovules, a stalk or style arising from the ovary and a pollen receptive tip, the stigma. There may be a single pistil as in the lily or several to many pistils as in the buttercup. In the previous module, we have learnt about herbs and shrubs. Come, let us learn about trees in this module. Trees are those plants which are very tall. They have thick, brown and hard stems. Examples are Mango Neem People Banyan etc. Usually in trees, branching starts in the upper part of the stem, much above the ground. Tree is a tall perennial woody plant having a main trunk and branches forming a distinct elevated crown. A shrub is distinguished from a tree by its multiple stems and shorter height, usually under 6 meter, 20 feet tall. In this module, we will learn about leaves. Different plants have leaves of different shape, size, color and texture. They may be small like in rows, very long as in banana, needle-like as in pine tree. Palm tree has palm-shaped leaves. Leaves are mostly green in color, but they may be of red or yellow color. Example, maple tree. Some plants have multicolor leaves. There are two main part of leaves. Petiole and lamina. Part of leaf which is attached to the stem is called petiole. Broad part of leaf which is green and is usually flat is called lamina. Lamina has a thick vein in the middle called midrib and web of small vein all around. The network made by these vein in leaves is called venetian. There are two main types of venetian. Reticulate, when the small vein in lamina of leaf make a net like structure all over. Parallel, when veins are parallel to the midrib. 
green part of leaf makes food in presence of sunlight, water and carbon dioxide by the process known as photosynthesis. Other function of leaf is to give out excess water from the plant in the form of vapor by the process of transpiration. Leaves of some plants are eaten as vegetables. Example, spinach, fenugreek, salad, coriander, etc. In the previous modules, we have learnt about herbs, shrubs and trees. Come, let us learn about creepers and climbers in this lesson. Creepers are the plants which have very weak stem and cannot stand straight. They creep on the surface of the soil. Examples are mint, grass etc. Creepers spread horizontally along the soil. At the nodal regions where leaves grow, they produce fiber-like roots arising from the base of the stem, which get fixed and grow further. Such weak stems in creepers are called prostrate stems. Example, watermelon, melon, cucumber, pumpkin, bitter gourd, etc. In the next module, we will learn about climbers. Some plants having weak stems climb on the neighboring objects with some special devices. Such plants are known as climbers. For example, pea. Climbers take support of shrub or tree and climb around their stem. Example, money plant, etc. Some climbers produce curved, watt spring like hooks to climb. Some others produce special roots serving as hold fasts to climb. We have learnt about root system in plants. Now we learn about stems in the lesson. Stem is the main trunk of a plant. It is the part of the plant that bears buds and shoots with leaves. Stem bears leaves, bud, flowers and fruits on it. Trees have thick, hard and woody stems. Example, banyan, mango, neem, etc. We have already studied that stems of herbs, shrubs, creepers and climbers are thin, slender and weak. In case of trees, the main function of stem is to give strength to the plant. It holds up other structures such as the leaves, flowers, etc. Stem also conducts water and minerals absorbed by the roots to the other parts of the plants. Some stems store food produced by leaves and are eaten. Come, let us learn about the types of flowers in the lesson. Flowers are unisexual when they have either stamen or pistil. Flowers are pistillate when they have only pistil. Examples are papaya, colocasia. Flowers are staminate when they have only stamen, for example, cucurbita. While bisexual flowers have both stamen and pistil.